right, guys, welcome back here to LJ. Actually, see, I just literally just woke up, guys. I literally just woke up. I had to get ready to do my laundry, get ready to go to work. Uh, you see, I got the Way of Wade shirt, the D Wade shirt, people. Just got that came in yesterday. It's pretty good quality, you guys. If you support Dwayne Wade, um, Bleach Report store, you can get his merchandise, his t shirt. I wasn't going to get the sweater, but I decided to get the t shirt. But it's not bad. I mean, for $25, it's pretty good. And you got the stuff on the back with his, uh, Dates you guys have all seen like his accomplishments you all all seen before, so it's pretty good quality. Came in like two or three days after order, so didn't take that long from California. But we're here to review Godzilla King of the Monsters, people. Um, like I told you guys, I'm sorry I didn't do the John Wick uh, three review, but it was a great movie. Go check out John Wick three if you have not watched the one one or two. Check those out before you watch John Wick three. It was a great movie. Now as far as Godzilla King of the Monsters, uh, I watched it in Dolby, like I told you guys. I'm just like binging anything Dolby. I'm gonna go watch anything that comes out. For example, next week X Men. Gonna go watch it in Dolby. Dolby's just a different feel now. It may not have the screen is still again the screen's not that much bigger than IMAX to me, but it's still Dolby's just sounds great. It's amazing. Um, the reviews before I watched the movie, people are saying it's too much human dialogue. No, he said no. They said it's not enough human dialogue. Too much action i was like so the first movie the godzilla the one that came out in 2014 they said too much human dialogue not enough action and then they come back with this one and say too much action not enough human dialogue i was like it's like what do you guys want you guys keep complaining about what you want and what you don't want pause for one second back guys that was just my mom who sent me a text to check what she was saying yeah so they're saying too much action, not enough human dialogue. I'm like, whatever. So I go in into this movie scene, like, okay, what are they talking about? Too much action, not enough dialogue. Um, off the bat, I enjoyed myself. It was a little bit longer than what I thought it was gonna be. It was about two hours and six minutes. Um, but again, the seats I'm sitting in were comfortable, so it kind of, kind of, it played out itself. I went last night to watch it. At 10 o'clock, so I got about like 12.25. Got about 12.25. Um, the movie overall, I enjoyed myself. Um, I enjoyed seeing the monsters, which was the point of the day movie, to go see the monsters. Um, I had a... First off the bat, Rodan. Oh, God, dude, it's freaking amazing. If you're a Yu-Gi-Oh fan, you know what I'm talking about. You see Rodan. Freaking was beast. Um, Mothra. She was beautiful. Mothra was beautiful. Uh, of course, the freaking beast himself, Godara. <laughs> Godara. Godara. What was that? Godara. Godara. Hold on. Godara. Godara. I'm going to make sure I get it right. Godara. Um, Godora. No, Godora. Godora. Um, was the freaking beast that you thought he was going to be. He was the beast that you thought. Like, okay, this dude gonna give him a run for his money. It was good. It was good. Um, the plot of the movie. I mean, it wasn't the plot of the movie was pretty much it picks off, picks up after 2014. Right there. Picks up right after 2014 and then fast forward a little bit into the future, but it picks up off the plot. If you didn't see 2014, go check it out. Um they do talk about Kong Skull Island. They talk about Kong Skull Island, which what everybody wants for Godzilla 3, you want Kong versus Godzilla. That take my money right there if that is gonna happen. Um the plot was good. Um Godzilla himself. I enjoyed Godzilla. He was a beast in this freaking movie. Um the actors in this movie, I enjoyed Ice Cube's son. Uh, enjoy the other actors. Again, the plot wasn't too hard for you to understand what's going on. They're trying to exterminate all the monsters, which is the plot of the movie. And then eventually you're like, oh shit, we need Godzilla's help, which is the plot of the movie. Yeah, it, literally, it literally is the plot of the movie. They're like, we're going to exterminate the monsters and the monsters get set free. And then they're like, oh shit, we need Godzilla to help us to kick these bitches' asses. So <laughs> that was the plot of the movie. Um, Not going to go into too much spoilers, but you know, it was, a, it was an enjoyable time. Um, if you want to go enjoy yourself for two hours and twelve minutes, I was gonna go watch an IMAX, but I changed my mind to go watch in Dolby. 
again, I enjoyed myself in Dolby. So I'm not going to say, if you want to go see an IMAX, go see an IMAX. But I enjoyed myself, myself in Dolby. Um, not too much that I want to tell you guys. Besides, I don't want to spoil the movie. Cause, but you enjoy yourself. There was a perfect balance of a little bit of dialogue and the action. You will enjoy yourself. The fight scenes were good. They're amazing. Um, the one thing I will tell you guys, it does get a little bit towards the end. You got to re, you will have to re-energize yourself to get back. All right, all right, come on, like, like, let's get to this, let's get to this, let's get to this. So I'll say a little bit towards the end, you can be like, all right, come on, let's, let's get back to the action. We're almost there at the end, but you guys will enjoy yourself. So go check out Godzilla, King of the Monsters. It was an enjoyable time. Uh, yes, do watch 2014 before this. I mean, do you have to watch Kong Skull Island? Nah, you really don't have to watch Kong Skull Island if you haven't watched, if you're going to go watch this. You don't have to go watch Kong Skull Island. You don't have to. It's not a must, but you will enjoy yourself. Um, enough action. Besides midpoint to the end, a little bit low, but besides that, action pretty much all the way through. Enjoyable time. Catch you guys back here tonight for NXT TakeOver 25 review. I will be getting home literally in two hours after the show starts. I don't know whose idea was it to start these shows at 7 o'clock. Like, Vince, really? How about you were to cut off some of this freaking pay-per-view? Well, you wouldn't have to start at 7 o'clock. But I'll catch you guys later tonight. Regardless, I'll give you my review for NXT 25. So I'll catch you guys back here later tonight.